We drove up here in the night, and, and like the road up here was like, round. we went up a mountain a little bit. So I want to see like when you get out there towards the town, like it seemed pretty steep. Hey, Sid, was that steep last night? Huh? That dang edge that driving up here. Oh my gosh. You better be paying attention, I'm just telling you. I want to see how it beats. That's exactly how far what away it is. I feel like I'm on top of the world. We're on Mount Everest up here. <laughs> There you go. See, See, like, for real, this ain't no Tennessee Valley joke. Like, this, this is not Tennessee this is Valley. This not ten Tennessee Valley hills. These are like monstrous. They're yeah. Big. You wouldn't want to walk up them, right? <laughs> so let's go fish. I'm ready to reel. All right, we're good now. On this note, we're just. Listen, we're good. Duh, we had a little bump in the road. Went to one gas station. Got to, we, I told him not to get water, and he's, he's worried about it. He's, He's worried about surviving, is what Dustin's worried about. See, all I'm worried about right now is getting to the lake and really one in. But Dustin's on this different mindset of like, hey, we gotta eat before we can do that. And I'm not really even worried about that. And he's got, now he did have some really nice, <laughs> just be a factual. We have no waters, no aguas. He's like, let's go fish. I'm like, you ain't got nothing to drink. Drink the water in the lake. I'm, I'm just glad I got water and stuff to drink. So here's the thing. At this point, I ate some kind of fish last night, and, uh, and, and, and you can live two weeks without food, so as long as I got water, I'm straight. And this is where we're at. I'm here for it. Thank you. Alright, we're bien. <laughs> Boy, man. Let's go. Vamanol. Again. Let's go. Well, I'll say this. This is actually really good. They paved this. It's good, but you do not want to come down that hill on a rainy day because you will be in this lake. Dude, we were flying down them little hills. <laughs> Big dogs. <laughs> I was like, this is it. We're going to plow right off this mountain. Clear, buddy. Yep, we're going to win. <laughs> Alright look, I don't know nothing about this lake. Jacob's been on a rampage running around like a maniac. But I can already tell you, just based off of the water color and how that boat is fishing, these fish out here are very, very nomadic and it's about to go down. Oh I'm gonna die. I'm gonna use the old dreaded live scope. Man, I hate I hate falling around fish with a with 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 technology and catching them man it just stinks you know what i mean i can't stand just being very efficient at what we do it stinks doing that fire the old mark up dang i didn't know that thing was all the stroke that's a dang we're about to be chopping this is really really cool this is a cool experience 100 about it. What is that? Bus? No way. It don't matter if it's a bus or not. We're gonna go catch some anyway. Really? Just to get an idea of what's going on, I'm just gonna throw the trailer down. Let's see what I see. I see some fish up here high. I do know it's in more. I think it's 12 meters. How, how many feet? In feet, well, uh, 120. In 120 feet. 120. Sometimes you just gotta go fishing. You just gotta, just gotta throw the trailer down and go pan around and look and just see. I don't know, I'm really interested in how this lake sets up. Jacob is gone forever. Yeah, I know this is J Jacob's channel, y'all, but I'm taking over this. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Here we are, weather fishing. We're out here on this lake. We can't even do an intro to this tournament because Jacob is running around like a madman out here. He's acting like he never caught a bass before. Like, oh my God, oh my God. We're gonna catch him. Let's go. So my guy, my man Miguel was nice enough to bring his boat for us to use. Amazing boat. This thing is awesome. He's got a brand new motor on there, three years old. 
He's up here rigging all the stuff for us, getting all this live scope stuff dialed in. Gracias, my friend. Yes, this is great. A little better for a steep one. There we go. First, first European bass. <laughs> That's a sub. That's awesome. All right. Not a big one, but a, a fish. Give us a little bit of an idea. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this water is so clear down here that if there's any kind of water color difference, it's going to be up the way a little bit. Oh, this place is absolutely gorgeous. What's crazy about it is there's not any like public roads that I can see. It's just as virgin as can be. I mean, look, look at this hillside. Like I can literally see like a mountain goat just hopping up through there. Crazy. There ain't people out here on pontoons. It's actually really impressive. That, that you go to Lake of the Ozarks, you can't even see the bank because there's docks and then here it's just so pristine. Listen. Amazing. All you can hear is Jacob running around up the lake. You're gonna have two different kind of fish in this place. You're gonna have some that eat brim and stuff on the bank or crawdad, stuff like that. And then you'll have fish out here on bait. So Jacob is just running around like a madman trying to hit fish isolated stuff. I'm just trying to see if there's fish on bait. Prosciutto, prosciutto. I mean, I'm gonna try it. Unique taste. That was really good. That's all we have to eat today. That's it, big dog. That's all we got. He's gonna want. He's gonna want bean cheeseburger. It's some sort of cheeseburger. I told him, man, you got you got to embrace culture. You got to embrace. You got to embrace travel. Mmm. You spend all your time eating the same thing, but man, you don't get an opportunity to eat Portuguese Portuguese food you know, very often. So, embrace it. Oh, yeah. So we're good. We got sandwiches now. What is that? Bread. What? <laughs> That's salami. Okay. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we're well, going to die. That's good. <laughs> Maybe one of the tallest bridges I've ever fished under. You can tell it's pretty dang tall. I mean, so it's freaky tall. Man, that's awesome. It's a good fish. Good wait, wait, wait. You want to weigh it? It's three pounder. Yes, yeah, it's three. What's three pounds in kilos? Three, three, three pounds. See, three pounds. Ah, that's freaking awesome, dude.
What do you think, Sizzle? Oh, three pounds. Have you? Have you caught anything? There's a couple little guys. Bite baby boys. Baby boys. Bite baby boys. I mean, I caught a three pounder a while ago gliding. Like, a lot of the bait that I'm seeing is on the outside edge of this, like 10 or 12 foot. That's what it seems like, yeah. Like right there, like there's a tree in the middle of that tree. Same size, there's a hundred of them there. Yeah. School of them. Free load of baby, yeah. Hey, hey, yo, Sizzle, why you met? Hey, you, I pulled in here and found them right there, big dog. They stay right there. Hey, they're right here. They ain't, they ain't over there. They right there. I think two and three quarters. I don't know. But hey, there's a big dummy tree right here, though. Um, yeah, I'd say so. This one for sure. This is honestly the first place that I've seen that, that, that had like a drain like that. All right, guys, we uh, so we went down the lake. Well, we started down the lake, super gin clear water, not a lot of bait, fairly tough, you know. And I didn't, I did not see a lot of fish, you know, out there on bait. And I was thinking they were going to be floating around on bait and like wolf packs of fish. I didn't see that a lot. So I was like, man, this time of year is a great time of year to come up a river. And, you know, just because a little bit, maybe a little bit cooler water, a little more dinge. So we slid up here, up the way. I think Jacob's up here too. I don't really know. He ran off on a tear. But we, Miguel just caught one. Okay. It's more wow. fish. <laughs> yeah. Bueno. Okay. Well, now we're cooking with something. So, I'm just, I mean, you can't hide it. It's tough, but you gotta let the fish tell you what to do. That's what I always do. I go out there, there is not a tried and true way to go and catch these fish. You just like, gotta figure them out. And when you get a bite, you go from there. So you guys been hanging out with DC this morning, and I'm sure you've had a hoop. We've been, uh, we've been looking for them out here offshore right now. And Trying to dial this place in. Caught a few fish. Lost a pretty decent one on, on, on the flopper. I just feel like um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure exactly how this one's gonna play out. I'm trying to sort of, I always, on day one of practice, I never wanna dial in it. I always just wanna like get a vibe. Like I just wanna like, eh, eh, eh. you know, there's a few fish here, a few fish there. The more you end up dialing it in, like especially when you're multiple days out and the conditions are going to change you're just put yourself in a, a tough that's what it is so really special it's the first time i've got to compete out of the states and uh go represent the united states and have one of my, my best friends right there along with me doing that i mean it's, it's important you know it's meaningful so everybody's you know shooting for gold and placing and doing their doing their part I feel like uh, it's gonna be a hard-fought battle from what I can tell all right day two and uh, weather is changing we're supposed to have this big weather system that's coming in and, and it's like clouds cup clouds wind the fish are gonna bite today we're gonna really find out what this lake has to offer today, and I think uh, I think she's gonna show out. Strong, that strong white bull. <laughs> Okay. Strong is, this is what it is, espresso shot is what it is? That's what it is. I've never had an espresso shot until yesterday. God, the body. You wanna wake up? Cheers. <laughs> strong. You want an espresso shot? Does it taste okay? No, it's, it's supposed to wake you up. It's not. That's what? That's what? It smells like coffee, yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's hot. Is that it? Warm. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. It's like baby food. No, it's not. <laughs> Man, seems really healthy. 
hell energy drink. Look, we got Bruce Willis up there promoting it. Still mad Armin, the, the, the Armageddon movie's done with for 20 years. He wants another one, they won't renew his contract. So he's like, well, let's come out with hell. <laughs> Somebody look up Armageddon and watch that for me one time. I mean, it's a pretty good movie. It's actually a really good movie, but the guy that the, one of the main characters was like dating his daughter. And he didn't like it. I didn't like that. He was still about it. Okay. Dude, that's her. <laughs> it is. But listen, you, you, you learn to appreciate the small things in life. You don't need any more of this because this is like gasoline. <laughs> I'm good. They make Krispy Kreme donuts, big dog. Look, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm pretty needy. All I need is a little bit of food and some water. That's all I'm asking for. He needs a hug every once in a while. He needs a hug. Just the thing. DC wants to go on a vacation and go fishing. Like, boy, because we're over here trying to figure this thing out. I gotta dial this lake in. Now, I, DC's literally gonna go up the river. He's gonna wind his stuff around and catch about 20 bass or 50 bass. And he's like, dude, I smash him today. Me, I'm gonna go looking for something off the wall. And if I, oh, I find them, I, I might catch a three pounder, four pounder, five pounder. You know, you know, all of a sudden I find them, you win the tournament. So you gotta, you gotta get on him now. We gotta, we gotta get him, you know, tightened up a little bit, reel him in a little bit. There's goals, all right. Every day, every tournament, I set a goal. And this one. It's for gold. <laughs> <laughs> Team America. The only thing I can say is I just hope we don't fall off this mountain going down this sketchy boat ramp. That's really the only thing I'm really worried about right now. It's a nice cloudy day to go fishing here, boy. Baby, let's get it. I literally, I'm like, busting your freaking idiot. Chilling you the with you, bro. They're out there. I know they are. Now those guys, those guys don't know what's up. They've been out the last couple days hard. I've been watching them like, mm hmm you guys know what's up you ain't nothing get on out of here no they they out you see i told you bro i know they out there going up stay down here i'm going up there hey he 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 ain't catching nothing down here get down here trash throwing all of these i ain't seen no no schooling activity on this whole life we're backing down the ramp, so there's like a lot of rocks down here right now. We good? I'm so mad right now. There's, you, I've ne I mean, there's gobs of them. Like, even they don't call them, they don't call them back. Like, unless there's some really weird color. How oh, they can be this freaking goofy. Suckers breathing. They're suckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Bobble. Barbie. That's what it is. That's what he's eating them. Suckers. I'm about to say, I'm like, bro, hammer pig. I knew. I'm like, there's no way. I'm like, man, boy, you don't play me like that. It's sort of not feeling as good as what I thought it was going to be. Good to know. There's still got to be some dying out here, but that, that was a group of Little bass need love too, man. Hey, that's the one right there, baby. Oh, 
move it to the time that you're going in. Two and a half pounders. So, Dustin is uh, reeling some in on top water. So, conditions are really good for that right now. I'm still seeing quite a few out here deeper. I'm trying to take my time and slow down. And uh, But it sounds like we're getting a little bit more dialed in. You know, we really don't want to go to the river if we don't have to. But I'm trying to really slow down on a couple of these places to see. Like if you can catch a big one, you know, you get a one bite. There's several fish in this place that are very fickle, which is typical for the fall anywhere you go. Fickle fish, not one to bite. So it's sort of interesting, you know, you think, oh, we'll come over here to Portugal and you got to reel them in. Nah, not necessarily. I'm sucker fish I got me this morning. The suckers got me. I don't understand the Had them. All right. Continuing to try to figure this whole thing out, and uh, so Scott hit us up and said he's catching a few. Like, sink, he caught a few on like maybe a spy bait, and so we're just sort of going through trying to get. So we got it. We're just switching some stuff up right now. Right now we're just grabbing a few rods and gonna figure out. I'm starting to see some fish, a lot of them now. Yesterday I didn't fish as much, but we gotta figure this out now. There's There's gotta be something to it. I just pulled up to uh, the timber on the outside of it, a little baby point that has tall timber. And I see them swimming through there and I threw on top of them and seven of them came up and one of them shrinked to his gully completely. Just telling you we're about to freaking smash on top. Okay, sounds good. We need to get, we they need to come out of, they came out of Queenie. No! Yeah, they come out of 20. Dude, I lost one. And then this one came out of me, and there were five more big ones. It's all 20 pounds on one freaking catch. No! What's the hole on it, dude? Dang, bro. All right, all right. I gotta get my stuff together now. I'm feeling so like. Well. Look at all from here. Hot tamale. But they're not all small. I'm not getting the big ones right here, but all I know is we're on a little something. They're biting, but they're not biting. No big. I'm biting, they're not getting big. So I gotta figure out. Maybe there's a way to get the bigger ones to buy because there's bigger ones down. Right. That's where some of like the decent ones look like right there. Alright. Probably 274. Throw a couple four pounders in there, like, and then we'll be all right. Look how chunky that fish is. Ah, he might not be just four, but he's a nice fish. That's for sure. All right. See you later. They're one packing down here in these pockets. I can see them like two and three out in the middle almost, and they're just swimming together. And you throw over there, and they're like, shh. Good. So that's, yeah, like in the in the pockets. Yeah, we seen 20 pounds from there to there. That's good enough. I got them on that rock stuff though. I got like two rock places that got them. Uh, Grandes, down here on the right. I mean, between two zero. They were like, ain't that cool? <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I hooked them and I came up and there was like 10 four pounders with it. God, I let him swim down because there was a boat like over there running. I let him swim down. I pulled him up. All of them was with him. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> you can pull up right now and get trashed by another four pounder. Damn. The first one I had was over five. She come up and just, <laughs> I said, that ain't a bass. That ain't a bass. And then finally, I seen them down there. Just, they were biting that sucker under the water. 
He had it all the way in his mouth. This place has got some bass. Just finishing up practice, had a couple really solid bites up that river. Throwing on top water is something I love to do, but the, the thing is, it's really just gonna come down to figuring out an official practice because this lake is changing every single day. We got some weather coming in and um, we're gonna see how this one turns out. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.